Once a poor man came to King and he said to him, I am a poor person. Give me some money, give me some clothes, give me some, some something to eat. King was a very generous person and he said to his guards that take this poor person into my treasure room and leave him there for one hour and let him know that he can take whatever he wants to take from there. But he only got one hour. Poor man goes in that treasure room and he stays there and he looks at the mountain of gold, mountain of silver and the diamonds everywhere before he starts filling his bag. Why he sees a beautiful bed right next to him. Why he does? He jumps on a bed and next thing he goes to sleep. And after one hour, those security guards, the guards comes in and they wake him up and they say to him, you fool, you silly person. We gave you one hour. You could have taken so much from here. You could have settled your life. And the poor man, he started crying and he started begging them. Please give me a few seconds. Let me just take some at least. He said, no, no, no. The guards are going to say, we gave you one hour, 60 minutes. And you didn't take anything. You didn't take advantage. We're not going to give you in one second. They picked him up with three marks. That poor person are us. And the king is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Them security guards are the angel of death. The treasure room is this world. And the mountain of gold, the mountain of silvers, and all the diamonds, they are, uh, they are good deeds. You read those, you read Nimaz, you read Quran, you, you do good things and fulfill all the obligatory actions and listen to Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then you will be picking up all these gold coins, all these silvers and diamonds and on the day of Jannah Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will exchange Jannah with that. But, I was going to say, what was the bad? The bad is your evil desires. They don't let us take what we want, what, why we came in this dunya. It's going to keep us away. Even that, that's the devil. I want to buy a car. And you're running after that car and you want to buy that car. The 15, 20,000 pound car is, oh, I want to buy that house. And but for buying that house, you are missing your prayers. You're missing out all the obligatory actions. Yeah. Then that evil desire is, take, is keeping you away from picking up all these gold coins, all these silvers, because one day when you're going to die, the car is not going to be with you. The house is not going to be with you. Someone else will be driving the car. Someone else will be living in the house. Don't be like that poor person that you are wasting your time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent in this dunya for some purpose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent in this dunya for some I have not created. I have not sent jinn and human in this dunya. But accept, accept to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And on the day of judgment, they're both going to come and I'm going to question them. And according to that, I'm going to send them either in hell or in hell.